So sick. Wagwan, wagwan, people. So, this is the last of the VMAs I'm doing. I think there's quite, there's a few other artists I've never even heard of on the VMAs, but I'm sure they are amazing. Um, but I've got some shows and stuff to um, edit and react to. So, this is the last one, and it's going to be Shakira, Shakira, um, which I'm really looking forward to because since watching the um, Super Bowl. Uh, halftime performance with her and JLo. Um, it just reminded me like how it's six years, like and and there was so much like great feedback about just how well that Shakira was received and stuff. And even just watching that E C clip with uh, her then just then with her, her boys and, and the tumultuous year that she's been through. Um I just yeah, I I, I like I like Shakira man. Like she's she comes across as a, as, a, as a decent human being and she's sick of what she does. So uh yeah. Let's dive in and see what I think she got the Vanguard Award, so I'm presuming this is going to be like a big dollar performance. Oh, oh. She's so irresistible. 
perdón que te salpique songs from her that I don't know um so there were some songs in that were coming through that I was like I don't know I don't I don't know what this is I don't know I don't know I don't know um but it didn't matter because I, it, it, like the energy the high is so high octane I think I said that about her VMA performance like um she's got moves for I mean I don't even know how old Shakira is like she looks she's a bit like Beyonce I've, I've always said actually when they did the beautiful liar video I was always like oh do you know what like genuinely when I look at Shakira's face, I look at Beyonce's face. Like, obviously, I know one's black, black, and Shakira isn't that. But, like, I, I feel as though they, they look alike. They look really alike. Um, and they're, I mean, both are so, like, timeless in terms of how they're looking. But, yeah, I feel like Shakira just looks phenomenal. Out of this world, amazing. She looks incredible um but from the from the from the get-go from the how it was it's amazing how like through all these like smaller stages and stuff they're able to kind of just like create all these really interesting like parts of their performances and journeys because each bit each song was was different each bit and um, the dancing with the, with the black guys um well before that the in the oblong thing that she was in like how they did all of that i thought was really cool how she had her feet in different positions and then when the when the, when the light came back on she was in like a different position um then like doing like the kind of roll back the roll back thing with the with those guys um killing the choreography with those girls um there was one shot actually when she was doing that oblong thing with the girls with the black hair i just thought it looked absolutely amazing um then uh and then the different songs that came on the ones that i knew loved the bit with the water and the waterfall dancing and dancing in that like she's just got ri like rhythm is just in her bones it's in her toes it's in her pinky like she's just then the crowd surfing like I, I managed to wear someone's hat at the same point um and then just that ending where she's just high up in the air in the middle of everyone like that was honestly an awesome 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 performance and you know what's really interesting of all the views that i've seen this one's had the most it's got 11 million views wow wow i can kind of see why i think this is probably my most enjoyable one i think like looking back to the ones that i've seen um so Cardi B, I mean, I like the beat of that, but like, I'm again, I'm probably not rushing to watch it again necessarily. Um, the hip hop one was sick as well, actually, but that was more for like nostalgia purposes and culture, really. Uh, but it was still good, um, like really good. Um, uh, obviously, Demi Lovato, um, P 
Diddy. Like I enjoyed them as well, but I really, really enjoyed this one. This one was like, it was fun. Um, I don't know if she was singing live though, like, so maybe someone can kind of correct me on that. I mean, at the end of the day, when you're doing that much choreography and that much dancing, like I'm not mad at someone that's not singing live. I mean, it's still her vocals on the track. Um, and I would much prefer to like focus on, on there being a good performance than being like, you must sing live and be and be breathy all over the place if it's not good. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not precious about that. But I was interested. Um, loved it. Loved it. Need to do some more Shakira, I do believe. I need to get some more Shakira on my channel. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. What was your favourite part? Uh, what was your favourite song? Um, and actually, if, have you got any idea what, what my next Shakira song should be? That'd be great. Um, but yeah, for now, if you did enjoy this, then do drop me a like and subscribe. That'd be lovely. Um, I also have a Patreon as well. So if you want to head over here and like, like join the other patrons that are also over there and get more access to me. And yeah, it's just a great way to kind of just um, support the channel and, um, and yeah, interact with me and stuff, which would be great. So uh, yeah, for now, thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs>